helps. If you guys don't follow Homestead How, you should. It's a great YouTube channel. Kerry here from Homestead How with a quick video. I just posted a question to the wonderful Dr. Barry, and he made my whole day, put a big smile on my face. I had to share this with you all. I had a really good question for him. I have so many elderly folks thriving on carnivore, and they reach out to me and they say, Kerry, I'm doing so good. I lost all this weight. I feel the best I felt my whole life. But I went to my doctor, and my doctor said, uh, I got to put you on statins. And I don't know what is a good responsible message for me to tell them. I know what I would do in my own situation, but I'm not a doctor. So I asked Dr. Barry this question. And of course, he knocked it out of the park like he always did. But then what he said afterwards was also really, really nice about my YouTube channel, Homestead How. So made my whole day and he answered my question. So here's a quick video to show you what I'm talking about. Homestead How. Hey, Homestead How. Dr. Barry, many elderly followers are thriving on the carnivore diet, but are advised to take statins by their doctors causing worry. What's a responsible message I can share? I have my own views, but I'm not a medical expert. So I don't think, especially in elderly people, I don't think a statin is going to help them at all. Okay. The, the point of taking a statin is so that you will not have a heart attack and live longer. That's, that's what they promise you in the Lipitor and Crestor commercials, right? Long, healthy life, playing with your grandkids, not having a heart attack. When you look at the research like that, like, oh, so if I take uh, Crestor or Lipitor, I'm going to live a lot longer, right? Well, the research shows you're going to probably live three to six days longer if you take the Crestor every day for 20 years. I mean, I don't know, is it worth, is, is three days of extra life worth that? I don't know, maybe. Uh, you know, a lot of elderly people have a spouse and their spouse is really clawing them, trying to get them to take and do what the doctor says. Listen to your doctor. In that case, I would tell them to take the lowest dose of Crestor uh, that they make, okay, which is five milligrams. Crestor does not cross the blood-brain barrier like many of the statins do. And then I would also say take 200 milligrams of coenzyme Q10, CoQ10, if you're going to take the statin just to, to make your spouse happy or your mama happy if your mama's still alive. Uh, but you need CoQ10, 200 milligrams, and you need to take the lowest dose statin that you can get away with. And if you forget to take it every day, and you're like, well, I take it every other day. I hope that's okay. I think that's fine too. Hope that helps. If you guys don't follow Homestead How, you should. It's a great YouTube channel.